the Your Phone app. It's supposed to be much better with Surface Duo 2 than compared to the original Surface Duo. And a lot of you guys and gals out there might not know how to set this thing up. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to set up the Your Phone app on your brand new Surface Duo 2, although this does also apply to the first Surface Duo. Okay, so on your Windows PC, if you go ahead and hit start and type in your phone, you should have this app already installed and it's gonna look different than this because mine's already set up, but I'm gonna add a device and it'll look pretty much the same from there. If you don't have it, go to the Microsoft Store. It should be in there as well. Just search for your phone. So once you're there, you've got this thing downloaded and you open it up, you should get a screen that's gonna look kind of like this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started Make sure you're signed into the Windows account that you are signed into on your Surface Duo. I do believe that does matter. Let's go ahead and continue from there. And now on your Surface Duo, you're going to swipe down on your notifications, swipe down again, and you're going to see link to Windows right there. So go ahead and long press on that and you're going to get this a uh, little screen popping up here. Let's let this load. We're going to link phone and PC. Is the QR code on your PC ready? So. Hit OK, allow it to have access to your camera. Now back on the Your Phone app, we're gonna click on Pair with QR Code. And it's gonna give you this QR code. Now all you have to do with your phone is just scan that QR code just like I'm doing now. And it will say Pairing with your PC on your phone. Back here, we're gonna hit Continue, which is gonna basically ask for some permissions. Just allow every permission that pops up because it needs these things you work, it continue, allow it to run in the background, and you are all set. At that point, we're done with our phone, and this should be working. Now you can see here, Shane's Surface Duo 2 now set to default. We're going to click on notifications first. Open settings on phone because you need an additional permission. If you click on that, it's going to do exactly what it did here. It's going to pop up an option there. We're just going to click on the Your Phone Companion down here, and we're going to tick that box there, or toggle toggle that thing and then hit allow and we're good so now we're going to be able to see our notifications on our computer and what's cool here is that if you clear a notification here it's going to go away on your phone as well pretty cool how well that works let's go to text messages you're going to be able to see all your text messages here which of course i will blur mine out but you will be able to see yours if you click on photos, any photos that are on your phone, you're gonna be able to see there as well. How about phone screen? Let's hit click, let's click get started. And then on your phone, you're gonna hit start now. And then at that point, you're gonna be able to see your phone's screen there on the Your Phone app. And what's cooler than that, you're not just seeing the phone screen, in fact. You're actually able to interact with it with your mouse and keyboard. You can actually just use it like this. So if I see a tweet that I wanna to respond to, I can come in here and I can start typing a bunch of random nonsense because I didn't type that well. Works really well. Let's go down here to where it says make and receive calls from your PC. I believe this does require Bluetooth. If you click on this though, it's basically just going to pair your phone to your computer. You're going to be able to take your calls from your phone. And then apparently at some point we're supposed to get a feature that's actually still missing here. But I can demonstrate to you what this feature looks like. The phone just came out yesterday, so we're not seeing the thing. The phone just came out and this hasn't apparently been updated just yet. But I can show you what it's supposed to look like, unfortunately, sadly, if I switch my devices to my Z Fold 2. Because on the Z Fold 2... You can do everything I just showed you plus this. So this is a list of all the apps that are actually on my Z Fold 2. And if I want to launch one of them, like let's launch ESPN, it will actually launch that app in a window that I can drag around and do things with. And there you go. Rather than just casting the whole screen, you can cast an individual app, drag it around, do whatever you want to do with that individual app. That is supposed to be coming to the Surface Duo 2, but for some reason is not there quite yet. As you can see now, when I switch back to my Surface Duo 2, that option is gone. Hopefully that gets updated and is there very, very soon. I've already updated everything here. It's just not working for some reason. And of course, if you ever want to disable this, all you have to do is pull down your notifications and click on, it'll, say, it'll have your computer's name now. Just toggle that back off and you've shut the thing off and everything should be running back to normal. Although you could probably just leave it on most of the time not really going to hurt anything. But guys, that is how to set up the Your Phone app on your Surface Duo or Surface Duo 2. Hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys and gals out there. 
Stay tuned for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.